guys, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Thanks for joining us for this week's video. Um, shortly we're going to be getting into a new project that I'm working on, but real quick I just want to make a formal announcement. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking us where we get EPP foam, and we've been getting it over the last year from rcskyflyer.com. And recently we've been in contact with Ed at rcskyflyer.com, and we worked out a partnership with them, and they're going to be kind of sponsoring us as our exclusive EPP supplier and uh, carbon product supplier. So this is also good news for you guys because it's going to help us kind of expedite our designs and builds for EPP planes. But also Ed at uh, RC Skyflyer said he's going to be basically sponsoring some EPP products for our uh, monthly giveaways probably on a quarterly basis. So um, once we get that all work out, worked out, please look for that in our monthly drawing. So that will be really neat to um, give away some EPP foam so you guys can build some of the, the planes like we are too. So um, just look for a little bit more information on that coming in the coming weeks. We're going to be probably having their logo on our website and stuff like that and um, having links to their site to make it a little easier for you guys um, to find rcskyflyer.com also. So uh, thanks again for listening to this announcement. Now let's get into the uh, real project. Okay guys, now it's time to get into the actual RC airplane project that I'm going to be working on next. Um, as you notice, we've been making a few airplanes over the uh, last few months that incorporate the KF airfoil. This is the airfoil that was um, designed and invented by Dick Klein and his partner Floyd Fogelman. Um, a few months ago, I uh, purchased Dick Klein's book that he put out um, a little while back. It's called The Ultimate Paper Airplane. It's a pretty cool book. It's not just about paper airplanes. It actually explains his theories about how the KF airfoil works and also gives kind of a neat history of all the challenges that Dick Klein and his uh, partner Floyd went through to try and get people to look into the benefits of the KF airfoil. And um, it all started out about 40 years ago and he's still struggling this day to get people to um, really recognize and um, look into the benefits of his airfoil because it actually can, you know, if it really works out the way all these benefits are showing on the smaller planes, it will make a safer plane and there's a lot of other benefits. It makes your wing more efficient, uh, better heavy lifter, and there's a lot of other benefits of it. Um, but anyway, um, we come to find out that Dick Klein, you know, he's such a nice guy. He's one of the nicest guys in the world that I've ever met. And he's always uh, ready and willing to give us information and uh, answer our questions um, and just sharing general knowledge with us. So we've all, uh, me and Frank have been both very impressed and uh, very humbled and very grateful that we have this friend in uh, Dick Klein. So kind of um, as a tribute, I want to do my next airplane after one of Dick Klein's famous airplanes. It's the uh, Condor airplane. Um, it's one of the airplanes he made that he actually launched from the same hill that the Wright brothers flew their, some of their first gliders and airplanes. Um, and I believe it, the Condor flew over 400 feet um, when he launched there. So um, Dick Klein put a little uh, story together for me in an email and I'll post that on our blog. You guys can take a look at that. It's kind of neat. So anyway, let's get into the project and uh, see how it all goes. Okay guys, as you can see I've been uh, a little bit busy on CAD here drawing up my basic plans for the uh, KF Condor. Um, this is the basic design I came up with. I'm going to be making it um, a 26 inch wingspan and it's going to have this basic shape. Um, there is some modifications I had to make um, as base with the paper airplane, you know, just to make space for the batteries and the other electronics and stuff like that. So um, that's pretty much the basic shape I'm going to go with. I think it um, kind of resembles the KF Condor pretty good so I'm gonna go with that I'm gonna print out some basic templates um, here I was just kind of sizing it how it would fit on a uh, 24 by 36 sheet of EPP so basically I had to do it in two pieces you're gonna have the main wing portion there and the front nose and then I'll just epoxy it together or uh, glue it and um, here's basically the shape of the uh, upper fuselage and then uh, basically here's my templates then I'm going to make um, an 8 by 10 sheet that I'll print out. Each uh, blue square represents an 8 by 10 sheet. I'm just going to print those out, tape them together, and then um, use them as patterns to cut out of the EPP foam. So let's get down to the basement workshop and uh, get started on working on the plane. Okay guys, here's basically the uh, basic pieces of the KF Condor airplane. I got them cut out of EPP foam. Um, next I'll be cutting out the uh, 
KF airfoil pieces that'll lay on top of the main wing. Um, kind of, if you look at his at the paper airplane, see where the uh, top layer goes across. We're going to do the same thing on the RC airplane, right where the uh, leading edge stops and meets the outer edge of the wing. We're going to go straight across and create the KF airfoil. Um, and I'll also be putting these little wings that are on the uh, paper airplane. See how they're on top? I'm going to be creating some little wings like that on the RC airplane also. And then the motor is going to basically lie in the very back of the plane and I'm going to cut a slot in the top of the uh, fuselage here to insert the battery and the ESC will probably be um, either on top or on side or somewhere on there. Um, we'll basically just develop it as we go. So um, basically that's where the plane is um, and uh, we'll continue on. Okay guys, that'll pretty much wrap up this uh, week's episode of uh, building the KF Condor RC airplane. And again, I'd just like to throw my thanks out to Dick Klein. Uh, we're very thankful to have him as a friend. He's um, shared a lot of information with us and uh, opened our eyes up to his invention. And I think um, the whole RC community, we're um, really working hard to show the benefits of the KF airfoil. So um, if any guys are interested, I would uh, suggest taking a look at your local bookstore, see if they have this book, or um, take a look at uh, Amazon.com. I'm also going to post a um, link to it on our blog. Um, it's a very good book. Like I said, it sh shares uh, Dick Klein's information on the KF airfoil, where he came up with the idea and um, all of his pursuits and trying to prove all the benefits of it. So it's a really good book. It's an interesting read. And it also has some plans for making, I think, was it up to eight airplanes or something like that in there? A lot of the airplanes that uh, Dick Klein himself invented and set world records with. Um, so I just hope my RC airplane is going to um, do uh, Dick Klein's air, uh, paper airplane justice. Um, I don't know if I even made the paper airplane correct myself. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, stay tuned. We're going to be doing more episodes on this and um, cover it and uh, see how it all goes. I think it's going to be a neat flying airplane um, just by looking at the shape and the size of it. And um, hopefully I get all the power systems right and we'll see how it all goes. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining us.